Hi, my name is Mari and I work for the Young Scientist Program at USC. I have a question for you. If I were to ask you to yell something at someone really far away, what would you do? Would you cup your hands to your mouth and yell? If so, you are like a lot of people and you would be making a very basic version of a megaphone. Today, I'm going to teach you some of the science behind how a megaphone works. Ever since the 17th century, people have used megaphones to amplify or increase the volume of sounds. Originally used as devices for people who were hard of hearing, speaking trumpets were developed by Thomas Edison. The cone-shaped invention made its debut in cheerleading by the 1800s by the Princeton University cheer team to help them be heard over the sounds of cheering fans. While the megaphone can function in many different parts of life, its overall purpose is the same. People needed a simple device that would magnify sound. So let's look at how exactly a megaphone works. When sound leaves our mouths, it goes in every direction. So the first thing a megaphone can do is concentrate that sound and aim it towards a target. Think of it like water. If you tip over a cup that is full of water, it will be spilled everywhere and go in every direction. That is the same way sound leaves your mouth. It is projected in every direction. Using a megaphone is like putting up walls to aim the water towards a specific spot. You can choose where you want the sound to go, and if all the sound is going to the same spot, it will be louder in that spot. Not only can megaphones direct the sound that comes out of your mouth, they can also actually make the sound that comes out of your mouth louder. Sound is made up of waves, but unlike water, you can't see sound waves. When the sound waves exit your mouth, they go from a really small space inside your mouth to a really large space in the open air around you. Sometimes when this happens, the expansion from that really small space to the large space causes the sound waves to bounce back into your mouth. However, when using a megaphone, the sound waves will gradually get larger and larger as they open up into the air around them, which allows more of the waves to exit your mouth. So, megaphones actually work in two ways to help amplify sound by both directing the sound in a direction and also allowing more waves to exit your mouth. The study of sound is a special branch of physics called acoustics. Acoustics are especially important in theaters and performance halls. Architects who design these buildings need to be aware of how to make the sound that the performers produce get to every corner of the audience. Robert L. Wesley is an African-American architect from Memphis, Tennessee. He designed many different performing arts centers such as the Long Center for the Performing Arts, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra Hall, and the Elmhurst College Performing Arts Center. So now is the point in the video where we actually get to make our own megaphones. First, you'll need a piece of paper and some tape. That's all you're going to need for this activity. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and take one corner and kind of roll it in on the other and keep rolling until you get a good shape like a cone and then take one piece of tape and you can tape your megaphone like that so you have a nice cone shape here and there you go you have your megaphone and remember always be respectful of the people around you if you're trying to make your voice louder but also remember, your voice deserves to be heard because your opinion is important, and I hope you enjoyed this video.